I'm Greg Mortensen. I am the founder of Pennies for Peace. And for 17 years, I've been setting up schools, especially for girls in remote areas of Pakistan and Afghanistan. How many stones? Two. How many what stones? I'd like to see most of all, more than anything else, is that every single child on this planet would have the right to go to school. Um, there are today 118 million children not in school, including 78 million females. We built now 143. We're running 60 more schools. The community gives the most sweat equity, and free land, and free resources. Shining sun. Shining sun. Some of the girls in our schools, they walk three hours. Some of them have stones thrown at them. Some of them are targeted by the Taliban. But despite all that, they're still very determined to go to school. However, there are some people who are fiercely opposed to educating girls. Uh, it takes relationships. It takes time. It also takes a lot of listening. Pennies for Peace, it, it's a campaign that kids all around the country get involved in. They have uh, lemonade stands. They wash cars. We had one teacher willing to pierce his nose and dye his hair. Another teacher said he would dress like a girl for the day. It teaches children not only about philanthropy and about caring and sharing, but also about learning from their elders. I learned that the individual can make a difference and that the whole concept of power of one is really true. For the amount of $25,000, you guys did an incredible job. They raised over $25,000 in pennies. Um, we've had, uh, in the last year, almost uh, $2 million in pennies raised. So not only are we helping people you know, overseas and we're creating a great environment for people to learn, but we're also um, strengthening our communities here. The most inspiring thing is, is to see that a penny and just one, one simple idea can change people's lives. Just seeing how everyone all got together and was able to accomplish this goal, I mean, that's like a lesson that I'll take with me throughout the rest of my life. <laughs> I've learned that the world is closer connected than we think. We might not speak the same language, have the same religion, dress the same, but we all deserve the same basic human rights, and education, I think, is one of them. I think adults, we become very linear. We become very logical and strategic, but um, kids uh, think from their heart, and I think if we could listen to our kids a little more and follow our hearts, I think the world would be a much better place.